Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the free Win Toys app that you could get from the uh, Microsoft Store. So this is a pretty cool little utility that lets you do a lot of things. It's kind of like a uh, another Windows settings app, but it does a little bit more actually. So once you go to the uh, Microsoft Store, search for Win Toys, just look for this icon, look for this author, make sure you have the right one, and just uh, click on get or install, whatever your button says. And then once you open it, after it's installed, you'll have all these different sections here. So you have the home section, which just kind of gives you an overview of what's going on with your computer. And you can kind of hover over some of these things too to get information, you know, like what, this is an i9 processor, 2.5 gigahertz. Uh, you got your overall performance score. You can run it again. You can even see your version of Windows when it was installed. Information about your memory, how many apps you have, running processes, services, how much junk's been cleaned up, you know, all kinds of stuff. And then you have the apps section. So this will list the apps that are on your computer, kind of you know similar to what the Windows uh, settings will show you. How many apps? And you can filter it, sort it, and you click on the three dots. Uh, you could browse if you want to see the location of the app. You could do a, a search online web search for information about that app. Uninstall it. For some reason, the open and close is grayed out for me for apps. So I'm not sure why that is. You can see it's another just another way to manage your apps. Then you have the services page. Shows you all your running services. You can search for it, uh, sort it by running stopped and all and that kind of thing. Uh, sort by name. Click on the three dots. You could stop it, reset it, browse to the service location. Do a search for it. Change the mode. Automatic, manual, or disabled. Then you have the boost section. So this is kind of some performance enhancements. So if you want to turn on the ultimate performance power plan, you could do so from here. And if you click on that, it'll take you to the control panel settings for power. Uh, HAGS, VBS, startup apps. If you want to change your startup apps, turn off some stuff. Like let's say you don't want Cortana running. So I want to turn that off. Like so. That's kind of cool. Uh, restartable apps. Disable automatically saving apps to reopen when signing back in. You've got your background apps. Disable stuff in the background. Uh, activity history. Visual settings. Gaming settings. You know, turn stuff off or on. Uh, indexing if you want to disable it. Delivery optimization. And so on. Then you have the health section. So if you want to disable fast startup, uh, hibernation, change your Windows updates settings here, uh, do some repair, system file checker, check disk, do a declutter. If you hover the mouse over, it'll tell you what it'll do too. Delete junk files, unpin items from the taskbar, quick access information, delete restore points. Uh, restart your graphics driver, rebuild your icon cache, uh, drive optimization. You can do this, it'll open up the uh, defrag here. Uh, storage sense, turn it on or off. Then you have your tweaks section. You want to change your desktop icons. Uh, start menu. File explorer. So this one's pretty cool. Right here, show a uh, recycle bin and navigation page. So normally when you have File Explorer open, you don't have recycle bin there. You gotta go to the desktop. But if you turn this on, now you'll have recycle bin in the uh, navigation bar down there. So that's cool. And the preview pane, and this here to automatically have a Zip files, you know, show you the contents after you extract them, check boxes, open to. So when you open File Explorer, where you want it to go to by default. And this, let me minimize this. Uh, privacy, this is kind of good to go through too. Change your privacy settings. You'll see what kind of stuff is turned on that you might not even know about. Ads, you know, 
you probably don't know a lot of this stuff's turned on here. And then you have the spotlight image, actually system. If you want to turn on clipboard history, enable the God mode. So if you don't know that, it's kind of cool. If you turn this on, it'll make a, a desktop icon. Then you can see what God mode does. Uh, we have a video on that if you want to check that out as well. All tab settings, UAC, spotlight images. If you want to extract those pictures that you see on your background, uh, you could do that if you want to use it for something else. Then you have your settings. You want to change the theme and the backdrop, landing page, which one it starts on, and about. So as you can see, it does all kinds of stuff. It's kind of like having an additional settings app besides the one that comes with Windows. So this will work with Windows 10 and 11. So this is running Windows 11, so it kind of looks like the Windows 11 settings. So like I said, just do a search for WinToys in the Microsoft Store and just make sure you find this author and this icon. Make sure you got the right one. Then you could try it out for yourself. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.